Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's see what we have here today for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we're going to do some oracle and then get into the reading, okay? So, Libra, I feel like you're coming into a place where you're finally asking yourself, is this worth the fight? Is this worth my time? Um, and I feel like you're coming to realize that it is time to close this chapter in your life. It is time to do what's best for you. Um, you might be moving somewhere new or talking to somewhere someone new. Um, this was not an easy decision to make Libra. It wasn't. But I feel like, you know, you're following your guides. You're following, you know, you're surrendering to the divine kind of. You just don't want to fight for something like it, you're kind of in this energy of if it's for me then i shouldn't have to chase it fight for it beg for it to love me back do you understand what i'm saying like libra i think you understand that like in any connection i mean it can't always be hunky dory obviously there's going to be problems right but it shouldn't be this stressful it shouldn't be chasing someone begging someone to love you begging someone to act right you know what i'm saying so I feel that, you know, Libra, you're choosing peace. You're just choosing peace of mind, plain, of, plain and simple, you know. Um, you're just going to let whatever needs to come to you, come to you, and that's it, you know. Um, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Libras. Tell me about Libra, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Yep, a new romantic cycle begins balance spirituality and practicality so i feel libra that with balance spirituality and practicality you may have been praying or manifesting for something to work out but at the end of the day you have to look at free will you have to be practical you know you people are not puppets you can't force somebody to do something or to treat you right or to be ready to commit you know what i'm saying you can't force that, you know. You can simply manifest for someone to look at how they truly feel and, you know what I'm saying, acknowledge those feelings. Like, if this person really loves me, you know what I'm saying, can you please have them acknowledge that and realize that they're hurting me and try to treat me better, you know. That's all you can do. You can't, you can't change people. You can't force people. You know, you have to be practical. So I feel like Libra, you're taking the high road here and possibly even you've met someone new, you know, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Okay. So we've got anxiety, seventh chakra and man holding a coin. So Libra, I feel that, you know, you went through a lot in this situation, okay? And it was hard. Like I said, making this decision was not easy. But with seven chakra there, you opened that crown chakra. You took your messages from the divine. You just surrendered to it. You know what I'm saying? You you ascended spiritually. Um, and you chose peace instead of forcing something um, that wasn't meant to be, okay? Clarity, guidance love messages for my libras so we've got ascended masters there you go ascended masters commitment and peace libra i feel that your highest guides are bringing you this beautiful new comm commitment um i feel like there's going to be a high levels of commitment here and it's going to be peaceful it's going to be peaceful, Libra, you know? I'm not saying that you're never going to have an argument with this person. I'm not saying... But for the most part, it's peaceful, you know? Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra, please. Okay. So we've got camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. We have me time takes time in time cycles, time to heal and progress. Then we've got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. And then we've got soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, and soul contract. So a couple things here, Libra. Either the person that you're leaving behind is missing you. I don't really feel that though. 
I feel that this is you going through the grieving pattern of leaving something behind Libra. Even though you miss this person, you may have sat down and looked at your pictures and, you know, left at, you know, remembered this time when they did this and how silly they were when they did that. And, you know, you left, you cried, you took your time out to heal, but ultimately you stayed separated. You shut the door on this. You closed this chapter in your life. And I feel like you could have quite possibly been shutting a karmic soul tie out of your life or with the separation you're bringing in a soulmate into your life okay so let's see what we have here clarity guidance love messages clarity guidance love messages for libra please tell me about libra oh soulmate again libra and trust and express your love in the reverse okay so we've got love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so libra i feel like there's a soul tie a soulmate coming into your life somebody that you feel safe with someone that you feel that you can trust but with express your love in the reverse libra you're not going to put your heart on your sleeve right off the bat this person this time around this person, this soulmate that's coming into your life needs to earn that. Before you actually go ahead and say, I love you, you need to see where this person's head's at. You need to see what you're getting yourself into, which, you know, makes sense, Libra. You know what I'm saying? It's the smart thing to do. Lessons learned, right? So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Libras, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Libras, please. Tell me about Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Tell me about Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Okay. So we've got temperance, Sagittarian energy, the king of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the seven of wands, and the seven of pentacles okay so libra this is an energy of being nostalgic this is an energy of looking at the past there's what i was telling you you know what i'm saying thinking of the good times thinking of the bad times but with the seven of wands you're overcoming that you're overcoming it you're healing okay and with temperance and the king of wands you're taking on this energy of being confident in what you want and what you want is peace libra plain and simple with the three of pentacles here um and the five of wands right under it i feel here that libra you have a choice to be with someone that brings a lot of drama jealousy chaos into your life feelings of unsafety insecurity giving you low self-esteem treating you like an option or with the three of pentacles you can find someone that wants to build with you someone that wants to build something solid with you and again i feel like you're choosing peace libra Clarity, guidance, love messages for Libra. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. The Seven of Pentacles for Libra. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You can't make this stuff up. It's tarot. Um, you know, you were looking back. You were a little nostalgic, but you're not even thinking about it anymore. Seven of Wands here for Libra. The Eight of Wands. You're you're overcoming and moving forward. King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. And the justice card in the reverse, Libra energy. So Libra, I feel like there's a sense of this person treated me unfairly and I know what I want. And I know I don't deserve to be treated unfairly like that. Um, with the seven of cups and the knight of wands and the three of pentacles, Libra, here you are setting out, looking good, feeling good, dating, going out, having a good time, pursuing your options until you find that three of pentacles, until you find somebody that is willing to work with you as a teammate, someone that's willing to build with you. Tell me about temperance, please, for Libra. Eight of Swords in the reverse. You're releasing this, Libra. You're no longer wanting to be in mental torture over this person or this situation. You're releasing yourself. And with temperance, you're choosing peace. Ten of Swords here. You know what I'm saying? Ten of Swords, the Strength card, and the World card. 
You're stepping up to the plate, Libra, gaining that courage to truly shut this cycle. And with the Emperor and the Five of Pentacles, Libra, you are truly cutting this situation out of your life, okay? And you're standing your ground and you mean it. You're not playing, okay? When that happens, look at that. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, and Four of Wands. Libra, you have a beautiful divinely guided soul tie coming in, okay? You know, the 11-11 card could represent Twin Flame, but I feel like this is such a peaceful connection, you know what I'm saying? If it is a Twin Flame, then you're meeting another Twin Flame that is already awakened, and it's going to be more of a peaceful connection, but it is going to be very successful, okay? This is the one, you know what I'm saying? This is the one. So let's see here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Libras, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Libras, please. Tell me about Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Libra, please. Okay, so here we've got the Six of Swords. We have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Ace of Swords. Nine plus one is ten, guys. So, Libra, the person on this side is realizing, they're sensing the change. They sense that this is it. It's really over. It's really done with. Um, it's time to move on. Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This awakening and this understanding, um, this person's mourning it too. You know what I'm saying? They're mourning it too. It hurts them too. Um, with the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups though, I feel like we're dealing with someone here that realizes and understands that, you know, maybe Libra, you want a different relationship. Maybe both of you have moved on to new relationships. You know what I'm saying? Maybe both of you have done this. Um, yeah, maybe both of you are deciding to move on and that it would be better. But this person's mourning it too. Make no mistake, it's not like this person's walking away carefree. They feel it too, you know what I'm saying? But they do understand that, you know, it's it's over, you know? Tell me about the Six of Swords here for Libra. Three of Swords in the reverse and the Star card in the reverse, Aquarian energy. So I feel here... Libra, that someone is of a mind that it's time to leave the toxicity behind. So this person actually agrees with you, Libra. Okay, this person actually agrees with you. With the Three of Swords in the reverse, I feel like this person is also focusing on healing. Um, with the Star card in the reverse, you know, it's not exactly what this person wanted, but it's what needs to happen. And with the Tower and the Eight of Cups, this person is also going to let the Tower fall, emotionally disconnect, and, you know what I'm saying, make that tough decision. So I feel like both of you are on the same page here, Libra. Tell me about the Death card for Libra. The Death card for Libra. The Eight of Cups, yeah, you know, things have changed and you guys are emotionally disconnecting and, and that's it. Tell me about the Nine of Swords for Libra um, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like someone here is just going through an emotional turmoil, okay? Someone here just, they feel confused about the situation, like mixed emotions about the situation. Uh, I mean, Five of Pentacles, at the end of the day, this is somebody that knows that this is it. It's never going to come back together again. And there's just that feeling of mourning. So I feel like both of you are going through the same thing. You've already went through it, but this person is still in the process of going through it. Tell me about the Ace of Swords here for Libra. And we've got the Four of Cups. Yeah, someone here is realizing that there is no more... Um, they're not going to be receiving attention anymore. There is no more hope that someone's going to be giving an offer. Um, it's it's just over, you know. World card, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Someone here is in a new relationship. And Libra, I feel like it might be you, um, but it could also be both of you. You know, it could also be both of you. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Libras, please. Tell me about Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about the challenge here for Libra, please. The challenge for Libra, please. All right, so yeah, I'm going to take that. So we've got the Four of Pentacles. 
We've got the Five of Swords. Libra, the challenge here is being selfish and walking away and doing what's best for you. The Universe, the World card again. The challenge here is with the Knight of Swords, truly taking that bold action of just ripping it off like a band-aid cutting the situation out of your life doing what's best for you um it's going to be rough but it, this is a tough decision but a necessary one clarity guidance love messages tell me about the outcome here for libra the outcome here for libra the outcome here for libra yeah I feel like Libra, your intuition with the moon card here, Cancer, Piscean energy, the three of cups and the nine of cups, your intuition is telling you that there's a third party here that's that's going to give you more, um, they're going to give you more emotional fulfillment, okay? And you just know that. Your intuition is telling you that, okay? Um, all right, guys, I love you so much and take care.